let's bring in our next guest, our good friend, Dr. Joe Congeni from Sports Medicine Center at Akron Children's Hospital. And Joe, I played the weekend athlete last night. I was in the celebrity softball game down at Canal Park. And, you know, you don't think about those things, Joe. Went out there and played a little softball, something I had done for 17 years, playing high-level fast pitch, hadn't played in quite some time coaching. My goodness, I got up this morning. My ankles are so sore from running around there last night, my friend. Oh, my gosh, that's great. Do you need me to come down to the station and do an examination on you today? Or yeah, what? I was okay. hoping you were coming off that elevator this morning, i got to tell you. <laughs> but listen, you wanted to talk about some elbow syndromes that, that it goes from the, the kids to high schools all the way to the pro players in baseball. Yeah, I do, Ray. I want to talk about... Um, a condition, you know, I was thinking about it this week. I don't think I've ever spoken about this on your show, but it's not that uncommon. It's one of those things that's missed a lot, misdiagnosed, and the there's a lot of angst in New York City right now with the Mets, who were in the World Series last year, and they're struggling, and part of the reason is their ace has really bad numbers. I guess they booed him off the mound. Matt Harvey, he's 4-10 uh, and 10 with a high ERA and everything, but he... Uh, has been really struggling with injury, and he's been talking in his last several starts that he's been coming off with numbness and weakness and his arm is dead. And typically a lot of people think, well, gosh, that's a shoulder problem, and they do the routine things to look for typical shoulder problems in athletes, and they're not getting better. And finally he was sent to a specialist and diagnosed, and this is all over the newspapers, with a condition called thoracic outlet syndrome. And TOS, or thoracic outlet syndrome, is not that uncommon. I start to see it more in high school kids. Uh, adults can get it even with certain daily activities they do, but adult athletes that are in the overhead uh, position, so particularly pitchers, get this condition, and it is really a compression of the bundle of nerves between the neck and the shoulder. More specifically, actually, it's between the collarbone and the first rib when you're in that overhead position. And this bundle of nerves goes down the arm, the throwing arm, and when it gets compressed over and over again, people get uh, this dead arm sensation, they get uh, pain, they get weakness, and sometimes they even get color change in the arm. And it's not a shoulder problem a traditional shoulder problem like a labral tear that we hear about all the time or anything like that. It's a compression of these this bundle of nerves called thoracic outlet syndrome. In high schoolers, I get it in swimmers and volleyball servers and tennis servers, and it, a lot of times it's the second or third, I'm referred to the second or third person because they've seen other people. And if you haven't seen this before, the problem with it is the kid sits in your office and they look okay. And that was, I think, the problem with Matt Harvey. They weren't seeing anything after his starts. But when they're, it's, it's with exertion, with that exertion of pitching over and over again. And I was surprised in looking it up at Matt Harvey, how many pitchers have had this surgery in the last three or four years in the major leagues. There were six or seven pitchers that I saw. And it, it is not that uncommon. So what we do first, Ray, is we do physical therapy. And a lot of times because of tightness, uh, we stretch a certain group of muscles in the shoulder, different than typical shoulder problems, and they'll get better. But then if they're not getting better, we do injections. And one of the latest things is even Botox injections to try to release the tightness of this group of muscles. But if none of those things are working, there's a surgery called a decompression. Many times it involves taking out the first rib. And this is one of those things that early in my career, this was a very common surgery being done in hospitals very, very frequently. And now as we've gotten better at the other things, it's, it's fairly rare that we have to have it done. But I would tell you that I probably have one a year, two a, a year with such bad POS, thoracic outlet syndrome, they're not getting better. And the people that operate are not typical shoulder surgeons, they're vascular surgeons, uh, blood vessel surgeons that actually do the surgery. And usually it's four to six months. But the problem is, in the major league pitchers that have had it, some never got back to where they were before. Some did very well. They were talking about Jeremy Bonderman and Chris Carpenter of the uh, St. Louis Cardinals never got back to where they were before, but it's four to six months, so Matt Harvey is definitely out for the year, and this uncommon problem that occurs mainly with exertion, so you have to see the person pitch or throw or serve a tennis ball over and over again, five minutes, ten minutes, they start getting dead arm and numbness in their hand, and they keep it, can't feel the ball 
to diagnose this condition known as thoracic outlet syndrome. All right, Joe. Great stuff this morning. Thanks for the, the insight. We'll catch up with you next week. I'm glad to see that you got back out there, and now maybe you're ready to uh, uh, to get playing on a regular basis. I think there is a roster spot open for the Rubber Ducks, and I'd like to see one Ray Horner uh, playing at a higher level again. Well, I'll make a call to Ken Babby and see what we can do on that. <laughs> All right. All right, Ray. Have a great week. <laughs> you too. Dr. Joe Congeni joining us from Sports Medicine Center at Akron Children's Hospital.